This parallax animation is super fun to interact with, and it's easy to build by layering animations. I'll show you how to recreate it, so feel free to follow along. Let's start by giving the page a green background color. Select the section and make the background color transparent. Now, this is going to have a scroll effect, so add a second section by copying and pasting. For the hero, we want it to be almost as tall as the viewport, so hit the three dots in the top right corner, then turn on advanced sizing. This lets you set the section height to a VH unit. Now enter 90 on the height field to make it 90% of the viewport height. Now add a title to the section. Set the font to railway and make it big, like 70 pixels. Add a paragraph too. Size the text to match the width of the header, then select both and hit stack. Size the text to say 24 pixels. Now add in your images. By hitting the plus, select media, then hit the upload button. Once the images are uploaded, you can add them all to the canvas by holding shift and selecting the last one on the list. Give it a second and move your images into position. Looks really cool, but let's add some motion. So open the layers panel, hold shift, and select all the images. Then on the canvas, hit place in container. Okay. Now head over to animations and effects. Add a mouse effect, select the track option, then hit adjust animation. Fiddle with the distance and speed until it feels right. Looks interesting, but it feels like it should be parallaxing. So select a few of the images on the canvas while holding shift, then hit place in container. Move the new container out of the other one and add a mouse effect to the new container. Then make it move at a different distance and speed. Now hit preview and wow. That's awesome. But now it's time to layer a scroll effect. So select a section, add a scroll animation. Since it's the hero, set the path to fire when scrolling from the section. Then select the content stack and select the shrink animation. And then adjust the animation by lowering the animation area and also the scale. Look, we have it shrinking, but let's also fade that out. The trouble is you can't add two animations to the same element, but no worries. You can add another scroll animation to the individual elements inside of the stack. So add fade animations to the header and the paragraph. Very, very nice. But one last point, let's parallax the whole section. But wait, you can't add animations to the section that is scrolling. Select the stack and both parallax containers, then place all of that in a new container. Now, when you add the scroll animation, select the mega container, make it a move animation and have it move downwards. Wow, that feels really smooth. Just imagine how it would look with content down there. Why don't you take it from here? And to learn more design tactics you can do with Wix Studio, check out the Wix Studio Academy.